All right. Now, this is the type of case we're totally changing uh, topics again. This is from the nose of an adult patient, and it was a erythematous uh, papule that the dermatologist thought was was either a ruptured cyst or a basal cell carcinoma, if I recall correctly. Uh, this is the kind of case that is it makes you have bad dreams and nightmares, and I'll show you why. Because there is a ruptured cyst here. Okay, they wanted a ruptured cyst clinically. Microscopically, we see an obvious cyst or a cystic hair follicle, same thing, that has ruptured and spilled its keratin, and then there's a bunch of inflammation around it, right? Well, you know I would not be showing you something like a ruptured cyst unless there was more to the story. And if we look closer in the background inflammatory infiltrate here, we see these kind of enlarged, slightly atypical cells. They're big, they look uh, kind of pleomorphic, but not very cellular. They look kind of like histiocytes, which you would expect to see next to a ruptured cyst, right? But something about them is a little unusual. And there's also a lot of dilated telangiectasias here. So um, I have to tell you that this was, uh, I don't get credit for this case. My former, my former colleague uh, is the one who first saw this case and recognized uh, these cells in the background. And she did a vascular stain. And let me show you what happened. This is CD31. All of those cells in the background are strongly positive for CD31, uh, and they are actually infiltrative anastomosing vascular channels. And you can see multi-layering and hobnailing of large atypical endothelial cells filling the vascular channels and the channels anastomosing and interconnecting with one another. So this is actually angiosarcoma. And it just happened to be associated with an adjacent incidentally, an adjacent ruptured cyst. So this is a reminder to look at the whole slide. Just because you find one diagnosis, don't stop looking and to always be careful. And if something doesn't seem quite right, look a little closer. And uh, this is a very scary case because it would have been so incredibly easy to overlook, uh, to overlook this. But uh, thanks to the skilled eyes of my very brilliant colleague, uh, this case was diagnosed and detected. Uh, and so this was angiosarcoma with a ruptured cyst in the background.